play to earn or P to E games have been dominating the crypto niche last year and early this year. But there is a new player in town. The move to earn model is garnering a lot of interest in the crypto space these days. We will dive into this model, how you can earn from it, and also some of the many popular move to earn platforms. What is move to earn? Move to earn was first coined by the Web3 lifestyle app, Stepfin, in September 2021. This term was soon used by other apps working in a similar fashion. The move to earn model works comparatively to its cousin, play to earn. A combination of GameFi, NFTs, and social networking incentivize users to exercise, earn crypto, NFTs, and finally brag about it on social media. Users are usually paid in the native utility tokens for completing certain physical activities. The activity is tracked on the app through a fitness tracker or by the user's cell phones. In short, the move to earn platforms pay you to exercise. Sounds too good to be true. Well, there is a catch. In most cases, users end up spending a significant amount of money first before they can even start to earn. However, with the right elements, move to earn offers users an opportunity to earn decent rewards. Before we move on, our channel aims to educate everyone about crypto, blockchain, and more. That's why we are making these simple videos packed with information that is easy to understand. If you want to learn more and not just the fluff and hype, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified when we have new videos. Also, do share our videos with someone who wants to learn about this exciting crypto space. We appreciate your support. What's the hype about? With the success of Stefan, which we will cover later in the video, Move to Earn is picking up speed, and there are new projects that go beyond the usual walking, running, and cycling. They include activities like playing soccer or doing push ups. Many of the projects have gone on to become considerably successful. One of such projects is Stepfin on the Solana blockchain. In fact, it is the most popular project in the Move to Earn space currently. Stepfin app has garnered over 300,000 active users in a few months. The Green Metaverse token, GMT, Stepton's native token, has appreciated around 17 times since the token started trading in March. There is even a waitlist to join Stepton's Telegram group. Users will need to have an NFT sneaker to get started in Stepton. And the cheapest sneaker is around 12 Solana, which is approximately $625 at this point of the video. The price varies the more expensive the sneaker, the better quality, benefits, and earning power. Users can also rent a sneaker and share the revenue with the owner. Stefan users' movements are tracked through their app with GPS, and they can earn green Satoshi tokens, GST, by walking, jogging, or running. GST can be exchanged for USD coin, USDC, or Solana, Sol. GST can also be used to mint, repair, and level up sneakers. Stepfin is leading the move to earn platforms with an 80% market cap of the move to earn space. Many projects are trying to copy the success of Stepin. A good project that is a direct competitor of Stepin is StepApp, built on the Avalanche blockchain. StepApp is creating a gamified metaverse for the fitness economy through walking, jogging, and running to socialize, play, and earn. With its exclusive Step Protocol software development kit, SDK. Step App hopes to attract third parties to build within their metaverse and create a whole ecosystem around it. Step App's governance token is the FitFi tokens, and these tokens are used to decide burn rates, profit sharing, and project milestones. 50% of play income is used to buy back tokens on the market. KCAL is Step App's in game token. KCAL tokens can be used to buy sneaks, and users can earn KCAL from running. These tokens also allow users to compete locally or globally through gamification. StepApp also step up the game, no pun intended, with their non-sneak purchases like map styles, character skins, sneak skins, and skins. The next project we need to highlight is GenoPets, one of the first projects in the move to earn space. Players nurture, evolve, and battle GenoPets. It is similar to Pokemon Go, but GenoPets allows players to earn crypto. These cute critters can be bought, sold, and traded. 
The Genoverse is driven by a dual-token system, Gene and Key, with multi-currency Solana asset support. Genopets is governed and supported by native and fungible dollar Gene tokens, used for both utility and governance. Gene token holders are able to vote on the future of gameplay and also stake their tokens to earn rewards. Players earn key tokens daily through moving in battles as an in-game reward. Evolve pets allow players to earn more key, and these tokens can be used to refine crystals and buy habitats for Geno pets to improve their stats. What makes Geno pets unique is it is possible for players to earn without spending any money upfront through its free-to-play model. Players can mint and sell Geno pets. Players can also progress further in the game by buying a habitat to earn even more key and XP. Virtual is another unique project that rewards users' virtual coins via the process of sweat mining. Users' physical workouts like running, walking, swimming, cycling, dancing, or working out activities are tracked on fitness devices. Getting started on Virtual is easy as it supports popular fitness devices like Strava, Fitbit, Garmin, Apple Health, and Huawei Health. Users simply join challenges, complete the challenge, and submit the activity result to earn virtual coins, which can be exchanged for store purchases or discounts. There are both free and paid challenges, and users can earn more virtual coins according to their holders' level. Can users make money from Move to Earn projects? Most users involved with Move to Earn projects are already enjoying exercising. The cherry on top is they are paid to do it. For those who are seriously wanting to make a profit, the amount depends on a few factors. First is the initial investment. Users need to fork out upfront money to buy usually an NFT or utility tokens. And to earn even more, they will probably need to buy rarer NFTs or stake larger amounts of tokens to get higher level tiers or unlock rewards to maximize their earning rate. Second is the activity spent. This is a no-brainer. The more sweat a user puts in, the higher chance the user will complete tasks or challenges. Users are usually rewarded from a fixed reward pool, which is divided among the users based on their performance or on a fixed per person cap. Third, the price of the token. Let's say a user buys an in-game asset for $600 to earn one token daily. If one token is $10, the user can earn around $300 monthly and the user will take two months to cover the initial investment. But what if the token price drops to 50 cents? It will take years to earn back the $600. As usual, everything in this video is not financial advice. Crypto is very volatile and every coin and token will carry risks. Always do your own research before you invest in something. Move to earn space is still in its infancy stage and most of the barriers to entry are low at the moment. However, when more people start using the platforms, the cost of starting will significantly become more expensive. In addition, rewards will be diluted among more users too, as most of the projects function on reward pools. As we end this video, we hope you have a general idea on move to earn projects. Do you have further questions? Let us know in the comment section below. Please feel free to share this video with your friends so everyone can learn more about crypto and blockchains. If you find this video useful, smash the like button as it's a form of encouragement to the creators and we thank you for that support. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our future crypto-related videos. See you in our next one.